Moby with what appears to be the fastest song ever recorded. It's called Thousand because, uh, yeah, it does reach 1,000 beats per minute. And if you've ever seen Moby live, you'll know that he sometimes performs that. Now, I found that on a particular 12-inch deep in my record collection. And as you might guess, I have a lot of records and CDs. We're into, I guess, the tens of thousands. And the last time I looked, I had just under 45,000 songs in my iTunes library. But whatever I have in the basement and in my home office and on my computer is nothing compared to the guy who appears to have the largest private record collection on the planet. His name is Paul Mawinney. Paul lives in Pittsburgh, and for years he ran a record store called Record Rama. About 50 years ago, Paul started a personal record collection with a single 45 from a singer named Frankie Lane. The song was called Jezebel. Since then, he has amassed a collection of more than 3 million records and 300,000 compact discs. Every single type of music is represented. Rock, pop, country, R&B, comedy, soundtracks, Broadway shows, bluegrass, folk, children's records, new age, jazz, classical. And he also has cassettes and 8-tracks and 78s and even mini discs. Years ago, when his collection hit 160,000 pieces, um, his wife made Paul move all the stuff out of the house. He found a 16,000-square-foot climate-controlled warehouse, and the collection just kept on growing. Paul tried to sell it all a few years ago. He was getting too old to maintain everything, and his health wasn't the best. And there's also a tremendous cost to keeping a collection like this alive. He put up for sale on eBay, but there were no takers. There was a bid for $3 million, but it, it fell through. The publicity was good, though, and Paul is now getting help from a number of people who want to open a museum and an online database using the name The World's Greatest Record Collection. I can't wait for that to happen. <laughs> 